some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video was recommended to me by uh, my good friend, Frauded Wrangler. And he goes by the uh, channel name Paris Tail. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, anywho, this guy decides to go to the 77th Precinct in New York City and file a complaint. Now, of course, we all know that uh, you're not allowed to film inside the precincts because of confidentiality issues and uh, victims' rights and all that. But you know how frauditors don't care about any of that stuff. I mean, they don't care about anything besides themselves. And, of course, he is told to leave, but he does that. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to stay garbage and ends up getting, well, a shiny new pair of bracelets. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, it's the 77th again. We're back. Sun's coming up. I'm just going to hand in my complaint form, which is great. You know how the... um. Quick little lesson. I've said it on a few videos about my experience. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Coffee. Coffee burp. Um, my experience at the hospital. Um, basically, I've, what I found out is... Um, I had some idea, but it's just... Everything's run by the pharmaceutical companies and these hospitals are in cahoots with the uh, rehabs and the rehabs are in cahoots with the cops and the cops are in cahoots with the EMTs and it's just all a big game to just keep people coming back. Um, oh my goodness, we got one of these guys, one of these conspiracy theorists. Um, okay, but I I'm not going to get into any of that with this guy. I'm just going to keep focused on the issue at hand, such as that sign up there that says you're not allowed to film in here. And of course, like I said before, we all know why that is victims' rights. They don't need anybody to film the victims of crimes in there because, you know what, that might get back to somebody who might take care of the victims. Dumb, if you know what I mean. Uh, do these idiotic frauditors give a damn? Well, of course not. It's all about their own personal rights. Nobody else's. The recidivism, uh, recidivism rate is just insane for, um, you know, just people coming. It's a, it's a revolving door. Just like it's a revolving door of, I come to the police department for help and they assault me or they tell me wrong information. Um, and then I come back with complaint forms. <laughs> LongIslandAudit.com. I learned it from him. Check him out. He's uh, a big reason I am uh, staying on the straight and narrow right now. My family doesn't understand me. Yeah. Hey, how are you? I'd like to hand in a complaint form. Okay, now I'm starting to get a bigger picture here now that you said your family uh, kind of distances itself from you. Uh, so you are essentially one of these insane conspiracy theorists who's gone so far down the rabbit hole that even your own family questions your sanity. Uh, that gets kind of rough there, dude. So, but let's carry on. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. my information better block that out oh come now frauditor i mean show us your information i mean let us know how much of an amateur you are at this i mean a professional frauditor knows better than to show all their private information to everybody out there in the world but of course sometimes slip-ups do happen hey can i get a little help So anyway, I was saying it, the recidivism rate for these rehab centers is insane because what the cops do now is they don't bring you to jail. They bring you to the hospital where you can get help. But what they're really doing is locking you up and putting all sorts of pharmaceuticals in you. No, no, I just, can we go over it? I think, um, I, I don't know, what, I didn't put what the complaint was. Is someone going to, because I don't think there was, I mean, do I, well, someone will get back to me and then I'll talk to somebody about it? Come on, don't, don't tell me you don't get a lot of complaints. 
Okay, you're there to file a complaint form, yet you didn't fill anything out on the complaint form as in, with the, any relevant information regarding the complaint. So you just want to talk to somebody in charge and hopefully that will work. I mean, dude, you still got to fill the damn thing out with the information that everybody else can read down the chain of command. Otherwise, you're going to be like Denver Metro Audits that time he filled out a uh, FOIA request and it sent it to the wrong person. And it went absolutely nowhere. I mean, come on. Do I still seem out of control, sir? You don't know who I am. What? No, because that they said that the interpreter stuff, like this was stuff that you're supposed to fill out. Oh, you're supposed to fill out all the oh, no, person assisting. I can, oh, I can just leave that blank. Yes. All right. Thanks for telling me I don't have to not film, though. I'm still going to keep filming. I'm telling a little story here. Though. All right. I got to keep rolling, dude. I got to keep rolling. But before you told me you don't have complaint forms. That's what you told me. Two hours ago, you told me you didn't even have complaint forms. Listen, you're gonna get, you're gonna get my supervisor upset, right? What? This is a public area, sir. Can I, I asked to speak to a supervisor before. Yeah, you did. And nobody came out. Russo said, Russo tried to force me out. Russo is a supervisor. Yeah, so, I, well, I want above Russo. You want above Russo? Yeah. Where's the chief? The chief? You're telling me I can't? Uh, yeah, yes, I can. Well, so. There's a sign at the front door, you can't report. Yeah, and, and is there a judge's order on there or like a like an did ordinance I, number? Did I, did I, did I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Do you remember me? I'm sober as a judge. Oh boy, what a horrible blanket statement analogy, considering that uh, judges uh, can be alcoholics too. I mean, judges are human too. They're, they can be susceptible to other types of drugs, not just alcohol, but anything, and they can be just as fruit loopy as you. Do you remember me? Thank you. The, oh, you name me. Okay. Can, can I have your name and badge number, sir? I'm filling out a complaint form against you guys. No, dude. Look at the sign. It's a sign. Any, I know. There's two of them. Anybody can put up a sign. You guys don't know the First Amendment? You don't know the First Amendment? It's a public... It, oh, you guys don't... Can I have a pen? I need a pen. I need a pen. I need a pen. I filled, I filled it out at my house. Sir, I, yeah, I need. Mean, I help you, but at least follow our rules. No, dude. The First Amendment does not say anything about your right to film inside of a police precinct. Now, does it? Now, be honest with me, because I know it doesn't. Now, do, uh, I know you'll probably quote uh, law, case laws such as Turner versus Driver. Well, that has time, place, and manner restrictions in place. It doesn't give you the absolute right to film the police anywhere you want. There's still restrictions to that as well. Oh, that's a, 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 you can't report in here, sir. a rule does not yeah, trump yeah. the First Amendment. Wait, right. wait, I need a name and badge number, we sir. We don't help you out. No, sir, read no. it. You read it. Let's go, let's I'm go, not, go. it's not going on, off. Sir. You're a supervisor, so, so can I speak with you? Can we de-escalate? De-escalate. I know. De-escalate. De de you were handed an you, you, Yes, I didn't finish okay. it. I need a pen. So what is it? I'm shaking because you guys are cornering me again. No names and badge numbers. You can't no, yes, I can. Tell me where the, tell me where the, tell me where, tell me the ordinance. It's the First Amendment of the Constitution. Well, dude, I would say at this point you should go do some better research, but uh, I think that would be a fruitless endeavor considering you've gone so da far down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole, there may no be no more uh, help for you. In fact, I think the next step would be uh, Solvtar Town. I'm I'm yes, and he's wrong. You're all wrong. It's the First Amendment. Do you guys know the First Amendment? Sir. It's an NYPD procedure. No, that I'm doesn't trump you. the law. We're gonna ask you to please leave. You, you guys are going. You guys don't know. You guys don't scene. know what you're doing. I will under right. threat of arrest. All right. So you need, a, you need a pen. I'm gonna give yes, you a pen. Thank you. Can I throw that right here? I'm shaking because you guys are violating my rights. How are you violating your rights? You're inside the police precinct. How yeah, and, your and this is public. Wait, you're free to go. Oh, thank, I'm free to stay, and I'm gonna fill this out right here. I'm free to go and I'm free to stay. You know this. Well, now that if I'm free to go, I'm free to stay, uh, BS isn't exactly going to work out for you too well. In fact, in the next few minutes or the next few seconds, you are about to be given a shiny new pair of bracelets. And while you're in the clink, maybe you should uh, 
read up on the public forum doctrine and get to know what it actually means instead of what the frauditors tell you that what it means. I mean, you don't seem to be the, uh, well, you don't exactly seem to be the leader type like uh, Long Island Audit or uh, or Glen Saria or anybody like that. You seem to be more of a follower than anything, anything else, which is probably why you're parroting all the uh, usual uh, BS that these frauditors uh, like to spit out, and which is probably why you have fallen so deep in the rabbit hole that you're almost a soft hard now. Karina has it. You're not allowed to record. Do you guys know? Person. Yes, you are. It's a public place. Why are you going to figure it out and record at the same time? Because I'm pretty crafty, dude. I have a master's so degree. Right do you know why? Do you know why I infiltrated the? Short. The sign is right here. Yeah. The sign is right here. It says do not live. Yeah. Can I show you the First Amendment? We will help you. If you you don't have a name and badge number. How do I know who you are? Yes, I am. Well, now, dude, you were given plenty of warning. Instead, you started playing games with the officers. If I'm free to go, I'm free to stay. Now it's the time to pay the piper. Oh, you're touching me. You know you can't. I'm creating a scene in the police department. Let's do it. Oh, turn the camera off. Turn the camera off. Talk to you on the door. Actually, your phone's going to go off. And so you can be allowed to record. But you're creating a scene inside. I know you were here early in the day. Yes. Well now, stupid is as stupid does, and this guy may claim to have a master's degree, but he sure as hell proved to me the uh, the opposite is true. I mean, he's a complete idiot. When you parrot the frauditor's uh, script verbatim, you had better be ready to pay the piper and take the shiny pair of bracelets along with the ride. So, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.